Dan zal ik de laag worden. Ja, ik zeg het hier met het zonde. Good evening everyone. Welcome to the special edition tonight of Exposure TV, the number one yeah. YouTube channel, as everyone knows already. That's why you're waiting in the chat. It's a special, it's a special edition Brunswick tonight. TV here. Hey. 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 So it's a special edition tonight. There's been um some things going on on YouTube and we're going to clear them all up. We're going to invite Film Boy on from the cesspit. There were some voice notes leaked today by Apollo. Don't know where Apollo's been hiding, under some rock in fucking Jupiter since he got his bluff called in a low-stakes poker game on an alleyway. <laughs> in an alleyway in the field. He's pocket twos, got the bluff, fucking called by six four of clubs, and the rest was history. But listen, <laughs> we like to be fair on Exposure TV, don't we? You know what I mean? We're not a channel. Like, so I did see someone earlier, they came in and they and in the chat and they said, ah, oh, I thought I thought this was a lie or something. I was like, listen, there's other channels, there's this channel, we don't need to lie. We like to put the truth out there. And then we like to, you know, put some facts out there. But everyone should have a chance to clear their name on to talk or whatever. Me, personally, I don't believe that voice notes between people, private voice notes between people should be leaked. So, it is what it is. But yeah, totally, totally spot on, man. Absolute scum, man. It just shows what a little silly little sausage schnitzel is, really, doesn't it? What it is, is I think, well, before Film Boy comes on, this is what I would like to say, yeah? In my opinion, this is a deflection tactic to take the everything away from the fact that Apollo is a wimp. He didn't turn yeah. up for this fight that he talks shit about. The people's voice, the people's champ and all that. You're nothing but a dosser, right? Yeah. You called out, man. He turned up. You called out his mate. He turned up. You said you was coming with your fair play, man. You've been fighting since knee height. And then when it all come on top, now you're putting out voice notes to this, just to deflect the whole situation. Well, well, I mean, it's a form of snitching. I totally agree. And also, it just basically proves that you're from Widness, not Liverpool. All right? So, with that in mind, Apollo should come on, but he ain't got the fucking ball bag. Someone would need to get him some sellotape. Get him some scissors, get him an envelope, post it to me. I'll cut two of my ball bag hairs off, post them to him, and he can stick them on his ballless fucking gonads down there and pretend he's got some balls in them. He's just got an empty sack, mate. It's like a fucking, it's like a rugby sack with no balls in it. Yeah, you, you're a wimp and you didn't turn up and now you're deflecting. On the other hand, I, and also I don't think you should put in voice notes up. Look, everyone talks shit and everyone does that. So we're just going to give Film Boy his chance to come on and say what he's got to say. And then, obviously, we can just say, like, we can ask him a few questions. Because, obviously, there's been a beef going on. Like, there was no issue with anyone with Film Boy until Hector got involved. And then it all went pear shape. And then Film Boy went up Hector's ass. And anything he done, he followed suit. But before that, there weren't an issue with anyone with Film Boy. <clears throat> no one had a problem with him. Exposed didn't. I didn't. Moto Sports, no one else did. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think we should you know what? Out. You've got to give Film Boy a bit of credit and respect for, for me and willing to jump on Exposure TV. We're those I was just about to say. Do you know what I was just about to you say? Get, you get a lot of right? these smaller channels, the likes of this of fucking Polo, whatever his name is. You know, they come along, they have that little oh. two minutes of fame, you know, not, where you not only that, but, but the bigger channels, and listen, let, let's, add add it. Them on here. let's add it up, look at all the people, yeah, and then we go to people like Lazar, yeah. he can't come in here, right, but at least Film Boy is at least coming on, and he's mad enough to come on, unlike Apollo, unlike Hector, unlike uh, Lazar, whatever, so we let him on, and... He's obviously, the voice notes, he's talking about Exposure TV. 
So, yeah, it's only fair that he comes on here and clears it up and we all move forward. Yeah. It was old news anyway, that, that was not, not spent weeks ago when he said them. Yeah, I mean, it's a deflection tactic from the whimpery. Yeah. Because he's been, because last week he was crowned the biggest wimp on YouTube 2022. Now all of a sudden he's trying these deflection voice notes tactics. I don't know. I don't like it, man. It's a form of snitching, in my opinion. It's, it's what Lazar does. It's a Lazar move, isn't it? It's it just desperation because his channel's dead now. When he's not getting any fucking views, he's not getting any attention. He had a little two minutes of fame. Where he not, got, yeah, I was about to say, he, he had 34 seconds of fame. Let's and be real. He only got like that because he was, he was a Decca Eggy fan. And then when Decca Eddie didn't want to make a video with him, when Decca Eddie did when he got he him, just, him, that's he when got he got He got heartbroken by Decca. Yeah, yeah. He so wanted Decca to come then. on, he wanted to rim Decca. And Decca didn't want him to rim him. So yeah. when he found out he wasn't going to get Decca's rim, he turned on Decca. And that is the truth. But before that, he was there backing Decca to the fucking core, mate. Yeah. So... 